This small house from Vinitsa region is almost 180 years old. Once there lived a woods craftsman who made harness for oxen. Twice a year the museum staff whitewash and put it in order. In 2018 the museum found supplies and renewed the roof. The neighboring houses were less fortunate. In that house the ceiling collapsed and our staff workers made the repairs themselves. Our houses are all leaking because they were covered with raw straw and we don't have this straw now. Another unique exhibit of the museum in Pirohiv is the 19th-century Hutsul community house from the village of Verkhovina in Ivano-Frankivsk region. This is a whole complex of outbuildings with a closed courtyard, similar to a fortress. Timber shingles are no longer able to withstand rainfall. It is necessary to change the shingles a little because it has been laying there for 45 years. Some of the boards are already rotten. We have to replace some of the dilapidated elements in the walls as well. One has to spend more than one hour to see how our ancestors lived several centuries ago. The area of the museum is 113 hectares. There are about 300 monuments of folk architecture of the 16th-20th centuries on its territory. Many are in need of repair and restoration. The roads there are not perfect and the amenities are not everywhere. And already at the entrance, guests are greeted by an old iron gate. I am ashamed that a lot of foreigners come here and see this terrible entrance. They are stalled by it. It was made 50 years ago. Since then, we have been repairing it step by step. But we did not have the opportunity to make major repairs. There were no repairs in the Perohiv Museum since its opening half a century ago. But now the Minister of Culture plans to revive it. It is a part of the big restoration program. The memorandum of cooperation with one of the private agricultural holdings has already been signed. We want to do it to revitalize this place from the point of view of attracting as many people as possible. They will come here and see our restored monuments, not just the entrance alone. This is the first step and I call on all our partners so that we develop the public and private partnership. Two new entrances with information stands, ticket offices and parking lots will appear here by the new year. Reported by Vadim Kramer and Svetlana Sich, UATV News.